Hi, I'm Jennifer from the Worcester branch of the Wayne County Public Library. Bridgerton, the new Netflix series based on a series of books by romance author Julia Quinn, has become a huge hit drama showcasing the society and manners of Regency England. But if you've tried to borrow any of the books to read up on what comes next, you've probably discovered long hold lists. So while you're waiting, I have several other family-based historical romance series that you might want to pick up and enjoy. First, one of my longtime favorite romance authors, Mary Ballog, excels at the family saga, but I'll just point out two of her series. The Huxtable Quintet, which begins with the book First Comes Marriage, follows three sisters, Margaret, Vanessa, and Catherine, and their younger brother, Stephen, as they leave their little village for London's high society after Stephen unexpectedly inherits the title of Earl of Merton. In this first book, Elliot, Viscount Lingate, brings the news to Stephen about his inheritance and realizes that not only will this young man have to be educated to take on the responsibilities of the title, but his sisters will have to be introduced to society. Unfortunately, he can't really do that without a wife, so when middle sister Vanessa proposes a marriage of convenience, he decides to accept. And what starts off as a no-nonsense arrangement quickly turns to love. The Huxtable family is a likable, relatable group of siblings who are unaffected by their newfound circumstances and who love and support each other through everything. While we don't have all of the books in our library, you can order them all through Clevenet or find the ebooks on Overdrive. Balog's latest series features the Westcott family, beginning with the book Someone to Love. When Humphrey Westcott, the Earl of Riverdale, dies, his family is stunned to learn that not only did he have another marriage and another daughter, but she, Anna Snow, is legitimate, and the only legitimate child at that. Anna is thrilled to discover that she has siblings, but those newfound siblings, Harry, Camille, and Abigail, have to deal with their change in status and resentment over this newcomer, and they aren't so sure they want her in this family. And as Anna attempts to find a place in the Westcott family, she soon finds an unexpected source of support and love. While Someone to Love isn't my favorite book in the series, it does introduce you to the family with the dynamic changes that take place with a new person thrown into the mix, and the series does pick up steam from there. All of the books are available from Worcester in physical format, but you can also borrow the e-books and e-audiobooks on Overdrive. Next, author Grace Burroughs has created one of my favorite fictional families, the Wyndhams. The eight offspring of the Duke of Moreland, three sons and five daughters, each get their own happily ever after in the series, beginning with the book The Heir. The Earl of Westhaven, heir to the Duke, wants to avoid marriage-mad young ladies and decides to spend the summer in London when the rest of society has decided to retreat to the countryside. What he discovers is his new housekeeper, a lovely young woman who packs a fierce wallop, both figuratively and literally, and who hides secrets. How they overcome initial misunderstandings and find their happy ending is a delightful adventure, especially since this housekeeper isn't who she seems to be. The Wyndhams are a warm, loving, close-knit family who very quickly feel like friends, and this is a series I reread frequently. You can order all eight books through Clevenet, or request the e-books or e-audiobooks through Overdrive. For historical romances that take place after the Regency era, Lisa Kleypas tops the list as one of my favorite authors, and I have two series from her to recommend. Her older series about the Hathaway family begins with Mine Till Midnight, the love story of the eldest sister, Amelia. Like the Huxtable series, these books follow a family raised out of relative obscurity to the nobility, 
though the Hathaways are a little too unconventional to care much for society. Amelia is a bit of a mother hen who doesn't think marriage is in the cards for her. So when her brother Leo inherits a title and a rundown estate, Amelia takes charge in relocating the family and organizing a thorough overhaul to their new home. These challenges pale in comparison, though, to dealing with an unexpected attraction to the mysterious Cam Rohan, who feels drawn to assist the family and to tease the far too managing Amelia into letting down her guard. And as you might imagine, this uneasy friendship develops into passion and love. The Hathaway family is filled with eccentric characters, and unconventional Cam is the perfect fit, leading the way for other romantic interests for the family, who will break the mold. The series has both humor and heart all the way through, and once you finish the series, you'll likely want to catch up on the related series, The Wallflowers. All of the books are available in Clevenet, and you can find the ebooks and e audiobooks from Overdrive. Kleipas' newest series, The Ravenels, takes place in the later 1800s and begins with the book Cold-Hearted Rake. Again, the series starts with a man unexpectedly inheriting a title and estate, but in this case, Devon Ravenel is already a known rake in London society. He never liked the cousin whose death led to his inheritance and he's really not interested in taking on the responsibility of a title. However, when he looks in on the family estate, he discovers that not only does he have to figure out what to do with an enormous manor that demands expensive upkeep on a dwindling estate income, he also has a responsibility towards his three female cousins and their late brother's widow, Kathleen. His plans to sell the estate create an immediate conflict with Kathleen, and the sparks they set off cover an unwilling attraction between the two. Devon is interested in pursuing the young widow, but he's not prepared for the attraction to turn to love. Devon and his playboy brother West come across as somewhat unlikable at first, and Kathleen seems stiff and a bit stodgy, but Clapus develops the characters so, so skillfully that you very quickly find yourself cheering them on. The series is currently up to six books, with another one planned for release this summer, and all of them are available at the Worcester branch. You can also find the e-versions on Overdrive. All of these series are moderately steamy, generally on par with the steam levels in the Bridgerton books and series. The level of humor and banter varies, but the family bonds in each of these series rivals those of the Bridgertons as well. So if you're interested in reading any of these books, let us know if we can help you request them. And in the meantime, happy reading your happily ever afters.